I think it goes without saying that Africa is one of the poorest continents in the world. However, there are some countries such as Egypt or South Africa, which, thanks to tourism, raw materials and other factors, were able to acquire great wealth and, unlike other countries on the continent, were able to develop. This also means that, just like in Europe, America, China and other parts of the world, they were able to build impressive engineering marvels. In this video we look at the 10 biggest mega projects in Africa. Number 10. Egypt's Artificial River. Egypt has a problem. The population is growing every year, but it does not have enough water to support it. By 2025, it may completely run out of usable water. One of the causes of the problem is that Ethiopia built the Renaissance Dam on the Nile, and as a result, the water flow of the Nile is decreasing. But the country is even suffering from desertification due to climate change. And the country needs water, especially since a significant percentage of the population is supplied by agriculture. And then let's move on to our topic, which would solve these problems. It will be built in two stages, the first will be handed over in 2025, and will turn almost 6,000 square kilometers of desert into a giga farm. This will include two power plants and the world's largest sewage treatment plant. The second phase will be opened by 2030 at the latest, which will double the size of the project to 12,000 square kilometers. The river will be 114 kilometers long, with an average width of 70 meters, and its official name is Al Hammam River. The price of the entire infrastructure is $5.25 billion. Number 9. Bagamoyo Port One of Tanzania's oldest ports, Bagamoyo Port, was once the largest port in Africa. In 2013, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced plans to develop the port. I have already talked about the Belt and Road investment in China in a couple of videos, and I will talk about it again. The point is that this huge mega project is a multi-trillion dollar investment, and I want to improve the connection between China and the world with it. That's why China invested in this port, but there will be more projects like this later in the video. It was started to be developed in 2015, with a budget of about $10 billion, but the project was stopped in 2019, because the investors no longer saw the project as worthwhile. However, in 2021, after Samia Sulu Hassan became the president of Tanzania, she promised to continue negotiations on the project. The port will handle 20 million containers per year by 2045, helping to decongest the port of Dar es Salaam. Next to the port, there will also be a special economic zone, which, according to the plans, will attract 700 industries, primarily Chinese and Omani investors. Number 8. Lagos Calabar Railway Another mega-project of the Belt and Road Initiative is coming, namely in Nigeria. The lagos Calabar Railway is a 1,400-kilometer standard-gauge coastal railway from Lagos to Calabar, connecting Lagos State in the southwest with the coastal cities in the south. The story began in 2014, when the Federal Executive Council approved the project. Then in 2016, an agreement was signed with the Chinese Export-Import Company on the construction, but in 2017, the Bank of China indicated that it could not finance the project, so it stopped. In 2021, Rotimium Aichi proposed a loan to finance the project, and the government then awarded $11 billion for the implementation of the $14 billion cost. It will be built in two phases until 2030, the first between Calabar and Port Harcourt and the second between Port Harcourt and Lagos. Number 7. Cones at Technopolis. This includes the construction of a large technology center this time in Kenya, 64 kilometers south of Nairobi on the way to the port city of Mombasa. The project is part of Kenya Vision 2030, which includes the construction of similar projects across the country. It primarily wants to attract high-tech industries such as software development, and they even want to build a university, a kind of Silicon Valley in the savannah, as some refer to it. The project will be financed by investors and the government and will cost about $14.5 billion. The size of the city or technology park will be 2,000 hectares. It was announced in 2012, but in 2019, it seems that the implementation of the project, which is expected after 2030, has not yet begun. Number 6. Centenary City Centenary City is a planned city in the federal capital territory of Nigeria, they want to create a smart city similar to Dubai, Singapore or Monaco here, several kilometers southwest of Abuja, not far from the airport, on an area of 1,260 hectares. The city will have a mixed-use city center, a central business district, a financial center, a museum and a cultural center, 
world-class hotels, golf courses, sports facilities, educational institutions, community services, and even a skyscraper called Buhari Tower will be located in the city center. In addition, it will create 250,000 jobs. It was announced in 2014 to mark Nigeria's 100-year anniversary. Its implementation began in 2018. When it is ready, up to 500,000 people will visit it every day. But it will also provide a permanent home for 200,000 people. The construction of the new city will cost $18 billion. Number 5. Lekki Free Trade Zone. The next mega project is also being built in Nigeria, and this time they want to create a special economic zone in the southwestern part of the country, in the state of Lagos. The purpose of the zone is to attract foreign investment, encourage industrial development and support economic growth in Nigeria. The zone was established in 2006 as part of Chinese cooperation. The attractiveness of the Lekki Free Trade Zone is ensured by tax incentives, duty exemptions and other favorable legal environment for investors. The zone is divided into several sectors, including industrial, logistics, residential and commercial areas. Several projects are underway here, including the Lekki Deep Sea Port, which was handed over in 2023. The Lekki Free Trade Zone investment costs $26 billion, the entire project will be completed by the 2030s. Number 4. Lanseria Smart City The Lanseria Smart City being built in South Africa involves the construction of an entire city not far from Lanseria Airport. It will be an intelligent city in which 300,000 to 500,000 people can live. The project was announced in 2005, and they said that if everything goes according to plan, they can build it in 25 years. But then there was a break of a decade and only in 2021 did Johannesburg accept the development plan for the province. According to the latest dates, it will be completed by 2040. The city will also undergo significant infrastructure development, which will also have an impact on Johannesburg and will be implemented with environmentally friendly technologies, and it will also create apartments and jobs, all for $28 billion. Number 3. Great Green Wall I already mentioned the problem of desertification in Egypt. The problem is that this is spreading across the continent thanks to climate change. The point is that there will be less and less savanna as the Sahara expands. The project involves the creation of a green corridor several thousand kilometers long and more than 15 kilometers wide, which will cross the northern part of Africa, from Senegal to Djibouti. The project was launched in 2007 and aims to renovate more than 100 million hectares of desertified land by 2030 and provide better living conditions for the people living in the area. In addition, by increasing the productivity of the soil and helping to prevent the expansion of the Sahara, it would also reduce migration to Europe. The price of the project will be approximately $36 billion, but this amazing initiative is already underway. Number 2. Egypt New Capital This is also a project that I have talked about several times in other videos. The current capital of Egypt is Cairo, but water pollution and continued population growth are forcing the country to build a new capital east of the current one. The $45 billion new capital, which began in 2015, will be built in several phases. The office buildings have already been completed, but the city will also have skyscrapers and, by 2030, even a one-kilometer high tower called the Blisco Capitale, and a complete sports complex for a possible future Olympics. However, what has already been completed is the iconic tower, the tallest building in Africa, with a height of 393 meters. Well, it will probably be completely completed by 2030, but when it will become the official capital of Egypt is still in question. Number 1. Grand Inga Dam The largest mega-project in Africa is currently being built in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Congo River is one of the longest in the world, and at the same time its deepest river, it runs roughly on the border of the DRC and the Republic of Congo. Inga Falls is a 50-kilometer stretch of the Congo River, and the site is quite suitable for hydroelectric power plants. That is why the dam known as Inga 1 and then Inga 2 were located here. Their location is potential because the flow of water here is so strong that they can produce a lot of electricity and even more could be done with a third dam. And then we can move on to the project known as Grand Inga Dam, which it will be an $80 billion dam when completed, actually more than the GDP of the country. The project would first include a wall somewhere here that would accommodate six power plants, and another wall would be built further north. With this, water would flow into the valley and energy could be produced. It would be enough to ensure Africa's energy supply. These were Africa's largest mega-projects. 
Which one was your favorite? Write it in a comment and if you want to see more similar content, don't forget to support our channel with a subscription. Thanks for watching, see you in the next time.